morning. morning. I'm going to do another episode of the after morning. <laughs> <laughs> we were attacked by at least a dozen mosquitoes last night and Saul didn't seem to care. I wasn't attacked. Good morning. <laughs> the, ba the bathrooms are very clean. It's cool. And I slept very well. Better than I thought. Oh, it was great. <laughs> So the plan for the day, uh, we're gonna head to Dubbo to visit a bit around the town and then we're going straight, or I think we're going straight to Koba to spend the night there on a free campsite. Let's have brekkie and then we'll hit the road again. We've just made it to Dubbo, we're gonna walk a bit around the city, but first thing first, sunscreen. Slip, slop, slap. And last thing, when you're in Australia, never forget to bring a hat. Mm. That was a really cute and nice little museum and art gallery. We've learned that the name Dubbo is indigenous for red ochre. That was like my Ooh, number one takeaway. Nice. And what did you learn? I learned that the first school in Dubbo was built in 1857 and it was a private school. And that in 1851 there was 47 citizen of Dubbo. Wow. That's not about that's all that's all I learned. <laughs> and now we're going to the Dubbo jail. Beauty of a car. It's not every day you go willingly into a jail. You know? Jails are bad and okay? try and avoid jails. Yeah, so these next couple of shots were supposed to be in the prison, but it was a bit too expensive for us and we didn't have the time considering that we have still four hours drive um, to do until our next campsite. I guess we were about two hours, two hours late getting into Dubbo this morning because um, I don't feel like we did it justice. To do Dubbo at least a bit more justice would be to stay there for at least one full day. Like, yes. Like two nights. So now on the road again to Cobar and on then. The road again. Can you get cut me? No, I just need to see like more background music. <laughs> Sol's got the power of the car now. Sol. Hi. How are you feeling? It is very strange to drive that fast on that side of the road and car. I mean, very similar to the mine. Yeah, very similar to the mine that we um, live next to in Canada. It's a mine. It's all. It's a big ass hole in the ground. That's. Um, that's about it. It's gonna be the first time I touch red dirt. Ah. 
It's not sand. You lied to me. I said it's dirt. For like a hundred times, I called it dirt. Ah, see, oh shit, my pants. Yep, that's a Canadian experience. Singing <laughs> what Australian <laughs> dirt can do. Learning not to touch too much. <laughs> Western Hotel. <laughs> Why are we going there, Hayden? Because it says the word great at the front of it. <laughs> and because you want great beer? I don't know if it's going to be great, but it's going to be a beer in the country. It has to be freshly brewed, freshly poured, and freshly in my hand. It's going to be great. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I'm tired. Cheers. Cheers. So far, we drove about four hours. And we still have 40 minutes to go. Still so another 40 minutes to go, which is why you need to hydrate, stock up, feel much better. What a man. What a man. Yeah. So there's actually emus right there. That's great. Yeah, there goes. First time in the outback. It's my first time in the outback. How do you feel? It is a bit surreal to be honest because I've been seeing that in movies before and now I'm actually in it. I mean I, I'm in the red dirt. And it's cool, it's great, it's really great. I'm just not aware still of all of the snakes and the dangerous creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also very I'm also very excited because I know that tomorrow we're gonna hit Broken Hill and that all of the red dirt that I'm seeing here is just the beginning. Yes. Who's currently only got one thumb they can use? I'm excited to see the red dirt as well. This guy. <laughs> There's a bit of resistance. Wait. Okay. Looking good, sweet. Oh. And you do some squat at the same time. Oh. A lot less talking, a lot more doing, if that's okay. Hey, I do a lot. <laughs> Second position for all my dancers out there. You'll know what I mean. Yeah, you're good now. You good? Yep. Just quickly though, um, any anyone off, anyone watching this, just quickly, do you reckon it wise to set up shop up top with that noise overhead? Just curious. What? What did you say? Do you reckon it's a good shout to put what's on top, aka where we're sleeping, up with that noise overhead? Oh, with the thunder. With the, yeah, the thunder. Thunder. The thunder. Seriously though, this smells unbelievable. So we're gonna end the video now, but if anything else happens between now and tomorrow morning outside of editing, we'll definitely throw it in at the start of the next episode. But until then guys, please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Yay. Woo!